I think there's a bigger issue, and and I'm screaming this issue to these guys. I don't know what Burfick think the next move for him really is, because the next move is probably out of this league, <laughs> and he will probably never be mentioned again when it comes to national to the fo National Football League. So 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 when you so when you talk about the the position that Marvin's in, just like you said, you we know the rule, right? You got to protect your own. That's the number one rule because that's there's so much ugliness that goes on at the bottom of piles that it will blow your mind, yeah. right? And, and most of the time, it's always the second or third person that actually yeah. gets caught that's in these incidents. But when you think about what Burfick has the ability to do to a team, right, which we saw last year in the Pittsburgh game, for him to take that game and do that at that point of the game, for, for me as a, as a person, as a teammate, I'm going to him straight up and say, bro, look, I'm telling you straight up, if this ever happened again, we have a personal problem. Mm. Because if it doesn't come from if it doesn't come from the core, then if Marvin has to defend you every time, then you you're gonna always go out there and think this tough guy mentality really survives, and it really doesn't. Because you got somebody in your yeah, corner, right? Absolutely, Shay. But that's the biggest problem with with what he doesn't understand that Marvin can only be in his corner if he's doing everything between the whistle. Right. There's a way to play, yeah. right? And 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 when you see what he attempted to do to Bennett. I'm telling you, bro, I'm meeting him in the parking lot after that. Mm. And you already know the rule. Yeah. That's because yeah. it's a certain rule. You, it's a certain rule that which is an unspoken law. Don't ever. Knees off. Don't, don't ever go at my I knees I, I personally like that. I got it. Yeah. So I got to ask the great Ray Lewis. Vontez Burfick is a talented football player and always was back to high school. H highly recruited. He, he, he was a steal in the draft because of his reputation. His history. Yeah, okay. Mm. I, I can make a case that he was as talented as you were at that stage coming out of college, because you were a little undersized coming mm -hmm. out of Miami. Now, I'm not talking about heart and soul and all that. I'm not talking about head. Mm -hmm. I'm just talking about just overall talent, size, speed, quickness. But you didn't ch ever choose to go down that path. You didn't have to go down that path. You were going to play 1,000 miles an hour, play it with your head and your heart. Mm -hmm. You were going to strike people the way they'd never been struck before. But I don't remember. Help me out here. But I, I didn't hear anybody ever accuse Ray Lewis of cheap shots mm -hmm. or or nothing. I mean, not not even your arch rivals would would accuse you of that because you didn't need it. So I don't know the psyche of a kid who's so talented. Why do you need to do that? What what provokes you? What are, is it insecurity? I don't know what drives him or doesn't drive him because he has Ray Lewis potential physically just on his yeah. gifts. Yeah, but but you, look. So you're talking about trying to get a kid to understand what's, what makes a person take the next step, what makes a person really play the game the way the game yeah. should be played. This guy, and, and it's just the truth, right? This guy mm, is only known for his antics. Yeah. As talented as he may be, yeah. he may have showed a glimpse of that, yeah. but there's not, there's not been consistent of that, right? Of, of him working his tail off coming into me, mm -hmm. doing no. all the right things, no. and going out there and being this dominant player mm -hmm. that you possibly can be, right? And, and that's the biggest difference, that he's looking to be something that he's really not, I believe, you know? And when you watch this guy play, I say it all the time, wow, nice play. Yeah. Next play, I come back and say, really? Mm -hmm. Because I watch the more of the, the details of what linebackers really play and how they play. And when you watch what Von, Vontes has started to do, is it starting to get ugly for him? Because now is he's going out of his game to be something that he's really not. And he's looking for attention, Skip, that he'll never get. He'll never get. He's, he's not in that market first and foremost, mm -hmm. right? He's on, he's on a Cincinnati Bengals team who are, are, has always been looked at some way form that something is going wrong. That's something true. is going to happen yeah. at, the end of the, at the end of the road. Yeah, so th I just think this kid has to wake up. If man. you look at the greats that played the game on yeah. defense, all the greats, none of them. You look at a Reggie White, you look at a Buckus, you look at a, a, a Lawrence Taylor, look at a Ray. You look at all these guys, mm -hmm. they would knock your block off, mm -hmm. but no one ever said they were dirty mm -hmm. or they cheap shot at you. Mm -hmm. When you have to resort to those kind of... See, now, if you have to resort to that, I'm questioning your ability. That's what I... 
That's okay. So now you're trying to tell me, so you really don't have the ability to compete with me. Correct. So now you want to do something underhanded, undermining, mm -hmm. to try to get me out of my game because you know how I'm going to react. Right. Listen, the NFL is doing a great job, the concussion protocol. But if you poll the 1,600 guys, I bet you 1,500 of them would tell you they'd rather have you hit them in the head than hit them in oh, their knee. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So he he knew if you if, if he'd have hit Martellus in the back, Martellus would have probably looked back like, come on, bro, really? Mm -hmm. But once he went low, dude, you know how people feel about their knees, right. and you constantly do it. At what point in time does the NFL say, you know what, Vontaze, we find you 50,000, 35, 75,000 for this offense. We've suspended you for three games, and nothing seems to be getting your attention. Yep. So what we're going to do now, the next incident you have, I don't care what it is. If we deem it out of the scope of a football play, yep. you're gone for one year. Mm. What's his next anyway? I don't even think you. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Think if, you if it's not a, you know, you know. Yeah. Look, I understand. You know, sometimes you you try to tackle somebody, you grab their face, man. Yeah. You might get a horse collar, yeah. but he's going out of his way. He's become blatant, right, with his actions. Yeah, skill. Man, listen, skill. You know, you know what made me so confident. What made me so confident was my work ethic. Yeah, like I, I, I one hundred percent was so confident in what my ability was that all that other stuff. That was irrelevant. You had done the work. Oh, man. Right. Like, yeah, my that's, work is between us. That's, that's why you train, Skip. Well, that's that's why it, you yeah. eat the way you eat. You lift all yeah. those weights. Because when it come game time, be it late third or fourth quarter, I needed to be able to call on my body, knowing I had already been there before yeah. in my training. Yeah. So yeah. I don't need to resort to Absolutely. these kind of measures. Right. To stoop to this, to try to hurt. Okay. I'm going to try to injure somebody in a game that's already uh, physical it. as it is. Hey, last quick point. Yeah. Back to Marvin. Yeah. My only fear from what you said about Marvin, you have to defend your players. Yep. Defending is also condoning. So you're sending a message mm -hmm. to the other 52 that I, I condone all of the above that we just talked about. You said that was unacceptable. Yeah. Yes. And that's a dangerous message to send. At some point, you, you shouldn't – if you want to no comment, that's fine. But you say you got to defend. I don't know if this, this is the time to defend. He might, but in the meeting room, there have been situations where – Pub publicly, coaches will take one stance, mm -hmm. but we get in that meeting room and says, "Look, I'm gonna defend you, but don't let that happen again." Right, because it's a totally different conversation that you have behind closed doors. Yeah, right. that Burfick must understand, and Marvin must have said something to him already. Well, clearly the money isn't affecting him because he's been fined seven hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars over his career.